Hey, what's up, my Goombas? How's everybody doing? I got a little bit of a break here, and I thought that I would, you know, do a quick video. And um, again, I always try to capture the thought that's in my mind and, and get it out on, you know, my Facebook. When it's fresh, hot off the press of my mind, you know? I was thinking, you know, you may remember there was a guy that wrote me a letter. His name was Joey Public. I think he's a wannabe Italian or a wannabe Italian American. Let me get some hydration here. Just think without water, you're in trouble. I usually take in about a gallon a day. That's about right. Anyway, so I was thinking about when the Honorable uh, Governor Wolf, he uh, called us Americans cowards. This guy, Joey Public, he kind of came at me and he said that, you know, how dare I talk to the governor like that and or about what I'm saying about him because, you know, um, it's disrespectful and I'm thinking, oh, oh, but w w wait a minute, wait a minute. Did not the governor call the American people and or the Pennsylvania citizens cowards? Yes, he did. He called those of us cowards who, if we checked out early because he understands it's tough and you know, we gotta stay in and if we check out early, and go back to work, that we're gonna be putting people at risk. And I'm thinking to myself, this guy is not serious. This guy, you, you kidding me? He calls us cowards, right? And uh, I'm thinking this guy, Joey Public, comes at me saying that I'm disrespectful because, oh, I'm talking about, you know what? Shut your mouth. It is my opinion. It is my First Amendment right to say these things, okay? This governor called all of us cowards. Meanwhile, guys like me, women like my mom and my sister, we got the rice balls to come to work and to say, screw that noise. Are, are you kidding me? See, this is what it's come to. Do as I say, not as I do. The governor goes and does his little protest with his little minions with no masks. He's he's elbow to elbow, hand to hand, holding hands like an inch or two away from each other or tighter. And this guy's busting our rice balls about how, oh, we're cowards. We're all oh, we're cowards. Like, like, really, governor? Really? This is what the world's coming to. It's pathetic. The little Facebook trolls and the sheep that listen to this draconian BS. This is what it's come to. But I'll tell you what, I come from the generation. I'm not putting up with this crap. I'm not going to put up with it. That's why I come to work. They keep finding us. Does it look like we care? Taste of Sicily is still open. We're going to do what we got to do, and that's it. You know, I got to say something else, too. I'm also going to give a shout out, and this is going to hit home, too. I'm going to give a shout out to Mr. Bill Ames, to Russ Diamond, to Frank Ryan. To Doug Mastriano, okay? To Mrs. Pierre Graff, who's the Lebanon County DA, right? To Dan Muser. And you know what I'm going to say about all of those people who have backed us, who have supported us? They got the rice balls that a lot of these other political leaders don't have. How you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Some of these other people, these other political leaders in these other areas, they chickened out. 
That's right. Get the chicken wings out with the barbecue sauce, you little chickens. Okay? But in this area, in the Lebanon County, which I like this because Lebanon County got some serious roots. The Lebanon County leadership did not chicken out. They also stood up to this tyrannical governor and his his fat sidekick, Levine. And I said it before, Levine, you know, if you're going to be the head of the health, uh, what is it, the Pennsylvania Health Department of Health, you better watch your fat composition because you ain't looking too healthy. You are not looking too healthy. Now, do you think I'm fat shaming you? I'm not. It's a concern. Uh, you should know more than anybody that, uh, uh, you know, our United States healthcare system, what do they say? What do they say, Levine? I want to know. I can't hear you. What do they say? That you should be between 18 and 20 or 22 percent fat composition. Let me tell you something, Levine. You're carrying way too much fat. You better drop it for your own health. I know, I know, some people think I'm a hard kind of guy because I tell it how it is. But I, the way I see it is life is short and I'd rather go down in history as a guy who told it how it was. You know what I'm saying? I didn't pussyfoot around. I didn't candy coat it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you got to be. That's how you got to be right? Hey folks, how was everything? Awesome. All right. Well, have a great day. Right now. Do a commercial? Yeah. You want to give us a shout out? All right. Take care. Yep. See ya. Hey, you know, not everybody's, uh, you know, wanting to get on Facebook live. I'm a little bit spontaneous with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? My Goombas, but I find it interesting with this governor again. See, don't forget, it's a double standard. Because remember, special people got waivers while other people and other businesses did not get waivers. That's a scandal right there. There needs to be an investigation. That's all I'm saying. How you doing, folks? Welcome to Taste of Sicily. Can I get you on Facebook Live? You want to be on? Yeah, sure. All right, hold on. I got some questions for you. All right, folks. Welcome to Taste of Sicily. Hi, welcome. Where, where are you coming from? Wellsville, PA. Wellsville, PA. Yeah. You hear that? Wellsville. I you. Wow, that's awesome. Like Doug. Senator Doug yes, Mastriano. Doug Mastriano. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that's about like an hour away. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. Well, thanks for your support. And uh, we're here to serve you to have a great time okay. and great food. And so just, you can walk right in and our, uh, without a mask. yeah, without a mask. You got it. Yeah. Thanks. How you doing folks? So anyway, you see, this is how it goes. Welcome to taste. Of ah, I like your, I like that. Yeah. What's that? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, whenever you're ready, just uh, help yourself and we'll take care of you. So that's pretty much it, my Goombas. That's all I got right now. I just, you know what I what I don't like is I, I don't like the hypocrisy. That's all. And I, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm not saying that, you know, I don't have any flaws. I, I'm not saying that at all. But, you know, you've got to be consistent as much as possible. Pretty much how you talk is, is hopefully how you live. But, but this governor, I mean, come on. That's why he's irrelevant. He's irrelevant. You know, do as I say, not as I do. It's pretty pathetic, ridiculous, you know? All right, that's all I got for you on this video. I'm sure I'll see you in another one.
With that said, Arrivederci.